Good morning students. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn the poem from unit number 6 The Wonderful Words written by Mary O'Neill. Mary O'Neill is a politician and former former member of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta. So O'Neill graduated from the University of Toronto with the Bachelor of Arts and subsequently received her teaching certificate from the Ontario College of Education. So uh, she is from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So this was the uh, general background regarding our poet. Now we will see that what is there in poem. So, the title of the poem is The Wonderful Words. So, the title itself shows, suggests the idea of the poem. The Wonderful Words means we can say that the whole poem is about words, the world of words. And we can say that this poem is about the role and importance of language skills to save the idea of mind. Now I am reciting the poem. Never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it. For English is a wonderful game and all of you can play it. All that you do is match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head so that they come out clear and true and handsomely groomed and fed for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said. Words are the food and dress of thought. They give it its body and sway. And everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing. But only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes. Maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. So this is our poem. Now we will try to understand this poem, poem line by line. Never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it. So here the poet is saying that never let any idea or thought die because we don't get the way to express it. In other words, Never let it go without giving it expressions. Just because we don't know how to speak or how to use the right words. For English is a wonderful game. Here, in the uh, first two lines, there was a reference of words. But in third line, there is a reference of one language and that is English. So here poet says English is a very rich language full of treasures and all of you can play it. So it is very very easy language that everyone can learn it, everyone can use it in their daily life. All that you do is the match the words to the brightest thought in your head. Now, again this line, po poet urges us to do something. What, what we have to do? All that you do means we have to match the words to the brightest thought in your head. The poet says that all of you have to choose the words choose the words for the thoughts and idea that is in our mind for clear 
expression so that they come out clear and true why we have to choose our words with the with our thoughts because then and then we can express idea more clearly and anyone can understood for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said so uh, there are so many things the most beautiful ones which have not been said and done just because of lack of nurturing and lack of words and knowledge sometimes we don't express many things that is so loveliest because we don't get the way of expressing it because lack of words also so uh, so 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 the poet is laying stress on learning a language correctly and completely so here poet wants to say that we should uh, if we don't uh, if we don't get any way to express the idea to express the thought express the word so we should focus on language then we should focus on the way to find out that idea words are the food and dress of thought they give it its body and swing now here a uh, uh, poet compares words with the food and dress of thought means here poet gives a structure of words as a food and dress of thought and in uh, in next line poet says that give, they give it means words gives body and swing to thought so words gives a structure to any thought or idea in our minds and everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing now uh, poet saying that poet saying that never think we do not have any new thought they are yet to be explored and search they yet need to come true so we should always uh, if we have some fresh idea if we have some innovative idea so uh, this world is longing longing means they uh, the world is want wanted that uh, thought to come out so world can hear it so in this line poet wants to say that we should we should not think like that we uh, the idea is not appropriate or uh, i can't express it we should express our idea uh, as it is uh, like it is innovative or it is new or it is some fresh idea so the world can see the marvelous thing of that thought but only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise now in this four lines poet poet says that there is a prison behind your eyes behind your eyes means in our mind so in a mind mind it is a it's a prison prison or cage for a thought so how we can uh, how we can f- uh, free that thought by by the words because thoughts and ideas are cage in our minds and if anything can set them free and that is words words also can give clear and beautiful expression to thoughts and ideas and word words alone can earn them praise so and so means right now also in our mind there are so many thoughts and from that thought there is a wonderful idea 
मार्वेलस मीन्स एक्सट्रीमली गुड न्यू सरप्राइज न्यू सरप्राइज मीन्स आइडिया सो इट इज अ मस्ट टू लर्न एंड परफेक्ट आर लैंग्वेज टू टू कम आउट डेट thought to come out that idea that is very mar that is a marvelous and that is a new and fresh one so basically in this poem poet tries to say that we sh- we uh, we human beings uh, try to communicate each other with the language so we should focus on that language we should focus on the words that we use so so that we can uh, we can give the clear idea about our thoughts and uh, we should match our thoughts with our words so that the words can be clear and understandable so here there is the end of our poem